Nah, that's real talk. Um, you know, speaking of snitches, and I guess you could put this guy in that category, um, Keefe D. I, this, I, he snitched this man on himself. snitched on himself. He snitched on his fucking self. Uh, he's an man, idiot. Like, like, he's still locked up in the Las Vegas penitentiary. Um, you know, they, they gave him something like $750,000 bail. He can't make it, so he's still locked up. You know, he dropped his public defender. Um, he hired a private attorney. You know, how do you think this is going to play out for him? Honestly, who cares? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, who cares, nigga? You was 30 years, man. You talk about some shit that happened 30 years. You decide to come out 30 years later. Snitching on your cell tag. Like, man, go take your ass to jail. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, honestly, Keefe D, I don't care about that. This dude, Loose Cannon. Did you see this Loose Cannon interview with Wack and fucking Adam 22 on No Jumping? Nah, nah, I ain't see it. Did you see that shit? No, that nigga is a fucking snitch, bro. Straight dry snitch, bro. Like, that fool, he brought up, like, bro, that, like, yeah, you gotta check that out. That's a dry snitch. That's a, like, complete dry snitch trying to snitch on Big U. Like, I ain't even gonna say snitch, but it's dry snitching because, it's dry snitching because you're not talking to the police. You're not making a complaint. All, all dry snitch, snitching and dry snitch, all sh dry snitching just means like, you telling, you telling, but you're not talking directly to the police. So that's the only thing that distinguishes snitching from dry snitching is you telling it to the police or not. But that dude is a complete dry snitch. Like, worse than KVD. He kind of, he going viral right now, though. That loose cannon dude, he going viral right now. Hold, but, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Like, <laughs> did you just say worse than KVD? Worse than KVD. Fuck KVD. He make KVD look like nobody cares about KVD now. Right now, like, this dude just took over the new KVD shit. He worse than KVD. Damn. Loose Cannon, look that up. Look up that no jumper, Loose Cannon. Fucking clown, straight clown. Like he basically just jumped on there and said that he could have saved Nipsey's life. He said he jumps on no jumper. He said Big U called him and told him that Nipsey was dead too early. And he got off the phone with Big U and called Nipsey. And Nipsey answered the phone and he asked Nipsey Oh yeah, you you good? Oh yeah, I'm straight. Oh, all right. And just got off the phone. He didn't even warn him, tell him that, oh, big you called me and said you just got killed. I was like none of that shit. So you basically just jumped on the internet and told people that you basically possibly could have saved Nipsey's life and gave him a heads up, but you didn't do it, bro. But that was your boy. Like, like just a complete clown. Worse than Keith E D. I'm telling you, once you look into this shit. You go, this nigga, he gonna start, it's gonna, watch, it's gonna come up, it's gonna be a question on Vlad. After I said it, I said it first, you know, shout out to Skull Guy. But, yeah, he shitting on KVD. Like, once you really tune into that shit, KVD shit gonna be, the next guest you interview, you gonna ask him about that shit. I, I guarantee. Crazy. I guarantee. Nah, I gotta go check that interview out. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. Like he's a, like he breaking the internet with that shit, but he did it like I could tell his energy. They thought they was about to expose something and go, you know, after the Cat Williams shit. So he thought he was gonna come out and expose everything, bro. It just completely backfired. Everybody on your ass now, cause you're a complete dry <laughs> snitch. You're a complete dry snitch, and you basically just told the whole culture that you could have saved Nipsey life. You possibly could have saved Nipsey's life, and you didn't. You chose not to. Hey, bro, you a hug clown. Like, he just fucked his whole self with that shit, bro. Worse than Keith E.D., though. I swear to God. Yeah, I mean, um, you talking worse than Keith E.D. Worse, bro. <laughs> watch when you tap in. You got to tune in and watch that shit. Do it for me, bro. Check it out for me. Just like, man, Bosco told me about this shit. Let me check this Fucking no, clown, but bro. check it out after this. After we after we get up from this interview, I'm definitely checking that out. Straight clown, bro. Like, but you know your clown. Like, what dude from from six o gonna spell his name with a L U 
So like, bro, you from 6-0. Like, bro, you supposed to have the two O's and the S. Why the fuck would you spell your name L-U-C, loose, L-U-C? Like, a straight clown, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, I, some, like bro, <laughs> some, some, some niggas, they should have never gave some of you niggas a platform, bro. I'll say that. Some niggas didn't need a platform. I mean, but that's half the problem with the internet right now is it's too many platforms and it's too readily available to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a voice. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And, um, you know, pe people are taking advantage of their little platform, whether they got 30 followers or 30,000 followers. It don't matter. 